Right, right FM. FM. No, no, it's alright, it's recording. Hello, YouTube people. Hello, YouTube. Coming at you live. <laughs> oh, we're the worst. So, uh, just before we get completely started on the Richard Bachman show, yeah, um, we're selling Joel, our resident artist Joel Ray, has his artwork up on the Riot FM store. It's uh, pretty good if you can see it from your angle. Let's hope that you can, because he's also taking commissions. And he says, bring him on. He says, bring him on. He'll do whatever you want. <laughs> the price is right, he'll do whatever you want. I don't like... 20 bucks in my wallet. What can I get for that? <laughs> I'll tell you after the show. Alright, welcome to the Richard Barkman Show with your host, Ronald Khan Brown. I am joined today on the couch by Mr. Casey Moyer. Good to be back. I haven't seen you all for a while. I think the show's gone to a bit shit since I have been out for a while, but... Oh, that's not very nice. I've had a couple of good guests. You weren't any of them, so it was a real step up. Oh, yeah, congratulations. Yeah, cheers. Uh, we haven't seen each other since the Punk Rocky Horror gig. Back in September. Back in September for whatever today's date is. <laughs> <laughs> it is this Friday. It is this Friday. This is Friday, and uh, you've been on the show tons of times, so you know the format. Listen to a song, talk shit about it, vote between the two of us, I guess, whether or not it goes to where. We need a decent consensus. Uh, yeah, okay, so is it, are we still doing that... Your vote overrules everything? Well, yeah. Right. Of course. Go, I wouldn't back to basics. Back to basics. Alright, so, um, a couple of little points. Today is a very special occasion. I've finished all my, uh, uni stuff for this year. Congratulations. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. So we're going to be drinking and smoking and partying down. Until 8 o'clock when the lights go down. Yeah, yeah, and I have to go to bed because uh, mum said so. Yeah, I'm absolutely knackered. Yeah, I get tired. I get sleepy. <laughs> I don't get tired, I get sleepy. Yeah, yeah, like, you're, you're napping at the party. And, uh, got other things going on. My, uh, band Equanimity is considering a na name change. So, uh, if you've got any name changes, send them through to our Facebook page, Riot FM 87.6. Let us know if you have any creative, interesting names for bands. But you're up against a tough challenge because I've been brainstorming this one. Oh, we've been brainstorming like crazy. But uh, without any further ado, Let Me Love You is the name of our first song by Cobra and the Lotus, a Canadian heavy metal band formed in 2009, funded via a uh, crowdfunding site Pledge Music. Their first album, Prevail One, came out in May, or their previous album came out in May a few years ago. And... Uh, their song from that album, You Don't Know, appeared on episode 70 of this very show. Now, they put out a new album called Creatively Prevail 2. And this is where that song, Let Me Love You by Cobra and Lotus, appears. Oh, the sequel. The sequel. It's the always, squeakle. The squeakle is always better. Always better. Here it is. You said they got crowdfunded in 2009. They released an album until last year. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, well, they, 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 I they formed, get... I think they put out a few albums, and then... Alright. Let's see, I don't get crowdfunding a band. But they they have to have... Oh, no. You are doing my third song. Part of celebration. I don't know if I can do six. I can do one for, like, every 15 minutes, maybe. We'll, we'll, we'll figure out how we're going to do it later. After about the fourth. <laughs> I don't remember this, if, if there are other songs got in. <laughs> That'll be a good one tonight. I, I just recognised the name. Did you just make up episode 70 then? Yeah, there, there has been no episode 70. This is actually episode 60. <laughs> Well, yeah, it was like episode go. 52. I do reckon I had like a 1 in 4 chance of like throwing out an episode and saying I was on it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, you're just the most freely available. Yeah, no, I know. My commitments are 
that that meant nothing to me. <laughs> you give your word. My word means Dust dick. Dusty Elite. Absolute dick. This sounds like Evanescence. It does. <laughs> but like an, an emo hip hop group, group called Eminence. Is it a gothic? Yeah. I can't hold these zingers. <laughs> the zingers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you just take from the like. It's like we had a lot of fun writing all these bad names. There were a bunch of zingers, so. It's the zingers with all your band names listed. I, I have seriously worked in that Primus Greatest Hits album title. It's like part of my vernacular. What's the title? They can't all be zingers. Oh. All the time. <laughs> well, it's like, um, those are the best Greatest Hits albums. Like my favorite one is the Fox Seagulls one. The Greatest Hit and the Rest. That's good, that's good. <laughs> They're so self-aware about it. Yeah, you gotta give a respect to Ben with that hair. Yeah. Crowdfunding. I don't think this one was crowdfunding. I think I got over the slump. Ah. The slumps! <laughs> yeah, we haven't released a song since we started. Oh, that's kind of good. Most of it's very meh. Most of it reminds me of just like bad Evanescence actually. Yeah. It's got that sort of like... If they just had like an atmosphere and tone going over it, it would sound so gothic. Yeah, because her voice is too clean over top of it, and just metal and clean vocals give gothic, I think. Especially like melodies like Yeah, when you do this. You know, we've got uh, certain video hosting sites up our ass for copyright. Like we're, like we're wearing the clean because it's for criticism of the review. But yeah. Like every time. Yeah, yeah, they're not liking it. Let's say what, that's when you post it on your website or... No, no, no that's, 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 that's a something. I, I, don't, I don't want to say the name of the thing in case it flags something. <laughs> also, it's all automatically flagged. Yeah. Automatic flag! <laughs> yeah, all the colours were taken. Uh. What's the name of this band? Color. Carbon and the Lotus. Oh, I see how the album cover looks a bit like a lotus, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't look much like a cobra though, does it? That's a no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that was Let Me Love You by Cobra and the Lotus, a song that, uh, didn't do it for me. No, that song screamed of early 2000s gothic So rock. 2000 and late. 2000 and late, that song's so out of here. Yeah, it didn't, didn't, didn't do it for me, uh, I can't remember if their last song went in, but this song isn't. Okay, so yeah, that song was just totally... Okay. When I first heard her voice, I immediately jumped to Gothic Eminence, that one song by them. You know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, the one where they wake, wake up. Wake me up. And, and they wake up inside. Inside But people. they can't wake up. They cannot. It's impossible. But you need to save me. Yeah, they're saving people from waking up. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't. I can't do this. Yeah, the melody was horrible. and I'm, I'm going to stop talking about it. I don't like it. Alright, so that's a no. No. Get out of here, you crowdfunding people. Alright, so since it's, uh, I, I've finished my uni stuff, we're celebrating! We're doing a celebration! Celebration! Yeah. We're doing a celebration. You ready for your medicine? I am not. No, me neither. I'm scared I, I'm gonna throw up. I, I didn't think this through, but we have, uh, Roskov Important Russian Vodka. <laughs> it doesn't actually say that it's imported from Russia. Uh, which I think isn't great. Oh no, it's, it's okay, it's from Surrey Hills. Sorry, Hills, Australia. That works. They got potatoes out there. Australia. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, what? I, 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 
I don't like shots. Let's do it. <laughs> Fuck, I'm a... Ugh. Oh, that tastes like potatoes and Russians. <laughs> Oh, oh, fuck. No. Oh, would you say that, that that drink had sort of a dark aura about it? Oh, I'm saying Red October. <laughs> <laughs> a good, good name for a Led Zeppelin cover band. Red October. <laughs> anyway, um... Oh, oh no, this is bad radio. Oh... Fuck it, let's just move on. We're not doing that again. That was too much. Oh, no, don't do shots, man. Dark Long of the Storm by Oranua. Ah, Norwegian black slash thrash metal band from Oslo, Norway. Uh, the band is heavily influenced by early thrash bands such as Voivod, Slayer, Sodom, and Creator. Uh, to the latter, they have also dedicated some of their songs. That is Creator. Um, the band's main lyrical focus uh, is on blasphemy, death, and aggression. Here is a song from the April album. Ah. <coughs> Fuck. I don't like shots. Fuck around them. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> like, it went straight up my nose, too. Yeah, we're not doing that again. <sighs> I tried to just, like, pour it down my throat. And just hit my throat and I coughed it up and up the nose, like, ugh. <laughs> You reckon they'll play on air? Yeah. Yeah, you reckon they'll work? Yeah. Alright, good. Because he makes my noses with the Yeah. Ah, oh, good. Good. Oh, fuck. Oh, you do not look good. Yeah, that really fucked me up. <laughs> we'll finish this song, get you some fresh air. Yeah, I need water. I'll get you some water. <laughs> I'll film one of these up. <laughs> what? Oh, fucking. Like, I don't do vodka and I don't do shots. I can switch it out for something else. It's too late. <laughs> I've already had the vodka. Like, I'd be fucking sloshed, like, I can't even know what I'm doing to drink vodka. Ugh. Ugh, this fucking kills me! Oh, you poor bag. I feel bad! You should have said something! I did! <laughs> you, should have you should have said it louder, harder, and more of it. <laughs> well, a hundred more of it is good enough for, for, for an album. Oh, well, so I'm not doing it all one. One's plenty. What? I'm a baby, yeah, I don't do shots. No, it's not a baby, I don't do shots either. I just straight up don't do spirits, really. Oh. What about liqueurs? That'd be easier. But it wouldn't be like a shot of liqueur. No, no, it's over ice cream. Yeah. I got some lemonade for you. Do some chocolate lemonade. I'd say I'll, I'll put some water in your next one and yeah, we'll pull the camera, but this is behind the scenes, so they know. <laughs> It's hard to think that that's in bubble. It's 700 bills. Yep, 700 bills. We're down half already. Uh, we didn't start full, Casey. Relax. Alright, these aren't, you know, big shot glasses. <laughs> My favourite how, how I met your mother joke is just uh, one of the people there with a schooner. Yeah, and so, uh, your beer's flat. Scotch. <laughs> Again, that, that'll play well on the camera for the behind the scenes. Oh, here's this joke from this TV show from ten oh, from ten years ago. 
I'm gonna have to stand up after that. Like, that fucking kills me. Ugh. Uh, so that was uh, Dark Line of the Storm by Aura Noir from their April album, Aura Noir, but the name on the album is spelt with an E regularly, it's not. I'm oh, sorry, Noir. Yes. Oh, I don't know why they do that. Are you okay? Oh, no, I'm fine. Just... Are you sure? Did you listen to the song? Uh, like, I heard it in the you, background. You, you, you got the gist. I got the gist. You got the gist. It was, uh, it was thrashy black metal. <clears throat> uh, uh, this is gone out of hand. I'm trying not to burp. Like, that would kill me. I, I'm a little bitch. No, is this a little bitch thing? Well, if you think that Case is a little bitch, uh, no, let us know on Facebook.com. <laughs> oh, no, no. Okay, so that song just then, I heard it in the background and I, I remember the riff exactly to it and I've heard that riff a hundred times before. It sounded like fresh black metal. Uh, Josh, my bandmate in Equanimity, soon to be name changed, let us know about any ideas for funny band names that you have at... Uh, our Facebook page, right FM eighty seven point six. Uh, he he wrote a riff that was like straight up motor breath. However, he changed it a little bit, so Lars cannot get mad at us. No, no, no. Metallica, please don't sue. <laughs> Lars has had listens out. It's like that automatic copyright infringement thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's got his own one. Yeah, he, it just pings Lars Ulrich. He's got. <laughs> he's still got a pager. <laughs> It pings him. He looks at his looks down at his page up. He Fucking knows. Fucking LimeWire, whatever it was called. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Like like Napster. Napster and, and all yeah, that yeah. sort of shit. Like Na- that. Na- Napster. Um, do you know what happened to them? Like when they got sued and fell off the radar. You know why they fell off the radar? They didn't close down the site. It's still up. Napster's still a thing. Yeah, they went legit. They charged for songs, pay royalties. That's actually pretty cool. I don't think they're that big anymore, though, are they? No, no, they're struggling. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fair to say that the yeah, Napster... I mean, it's fair that they can't even afford the site charge, but they, they hold it up in spite. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you can't let... I'd fork out, like, a hundred bucks a month just to spite let... Lars Ulrich. Yeah, you can't let, Al's, like, Lars Ulrich just win. No, I'd definitely fork out a hundred bucks a month just to... So Lars Ulrich knows that I'm still here. It, it's a heavy subscription service, but, you know, you get all the hits. <laughs> he shows up every month too and he's the only one left oh yeah no he, he makes special guest appearances at the board meetings <laughs> um would you give this one a yes or a no I'm leaning uh, towards a no I, 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 I could give this song an either either on this one just because it was, you want to flip a coin I, this is a coin toss song alright well toss a coin over the break you need some fresh air we'll take a short break here on the Richard Barker show and be right back after this this is like that song just sounded to me like another song. <laughs> nah, shots are fucked. Heads yes, tails no, two out of three. Just, just do the one. No, two out of three. And one for left. Was it heads yes? Yep. I'm glad I don't listen to this station. We're, uh, we're going to take five for Casey. Casey needs a little bit of fresh air. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> it did. You came for your cigar? Oh, cigars are fine. Oh, man, that is... I am fucking drunk after that shot. I'm fucking shots just do that straight to me. Like, I feel it go oh. through my whole body. Usually I'm alright. I said, like, the second I had it, because I was like, I, I tried to just pour it down my throat. I was like, I don't want it to touch my mouth, and I coughed. So, 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 like the, uh, the the idea for this show was like sloppy drunk. That's why it was gonna be six shots. Yeah, and like I couldn't do six shots. Yeah. The six shots. Hey, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> the six shotters. No, just just the six shots, because it's like six shooter. Yeah, Red Dead's coming out soon. Six, that's it, but it's got a six shooter, so you have to go to six shot up. So you got like six. <laughs> is the toilet unlocked? It probably isn't. It's got the key in there. 
Thank you, YouTube, for waiting. I will regale you with small talk, read you some funny band names. Uh, I've got a few. Do you have any band names? Sorry? Do you have any band names? ABBA, The Beatles, Creedus Cleveland, Clearwater Revival, and the Dingoes, Fleetwood Mac. Alright, because well, I do have Pink Man Dingoes. <laughs> but that's a little bit racy. Uh, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, Suspicious Seafood. Crackhead Disco. Stealing Cleaners. The Dexy Chicks. Sped October. How about the Dixie Chooks? Hell and Keller. I like that. I, I've, I've also got TV Popes. <laughs> so, um, Hell and Keller, famous song, Sounds of Silence. <laughs> that's what I was going to do, cover of Sounds of Silence. That's our big hit. Okay, let's move on. Smoking here. Close the door. Oh, forgive me. Oh, the door. door. Oh yeah, no, the shot was too much for him. Let him grab a beer. Come now. Well, it is a balancing act. Balancing act. Yeah. Balancing act. <laughs> I'll, I'll send that one off. I think you've fallen off the tightrope. <laughs> balancing act. I've sent like a hundred and fifty. Well, you oh. said 150 before we started. How society. about <laughs> now, he, thinking outside the box? How about the new equanimity? Well, yeah, equanimity sucks is one of them. <laughs> outside the box beach. <laughs> get, get the local reference in. <laughs> Hang on, finger licking good. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Let, let's give it a second. I'll send these two off. <laughs> I like finger licking good. <laughs> But I said, like, these ones are very limiting. The second you go out of Ports... No, even the second you go out of, like, Nelson Bay, Salamander, everyone's like, Box? Beach? <laughs> Fingal licking good. That's a good one. It is a good one. I I still... I, I'll, I'll save it for when we hit the air. I'm, I'm going to do the, the, the Cuba one. The Cuba you, you had a lot. You had a Ooh. lot of Cuba ones. Cuban ones are easy. <laughs> I, I have the close cigars. <sighs> I'm hiding in my room. Like, Bay Pigs is just... <laughs> don't spoil it for the behind-the-scenes watchers. Well, they, they don't it's, listen it's, it's, simultaneously. I have don't you on, guys? I have clicked on the little red dot. The little red dots! <laughs> yeah, you, you just... Little red riding dots. <laughs> They're all so terrible. Welcome back to the Richard Buckman Show with your host Ron Carl Brown. I am still joined on the couch by CD Rommel. CD Rommel here. I have managed to get some fresh air and I am not ready for another shot. The man who puts the case in case of beer, Casey Moyer. Glad to be back. Oh, I'm glad to have you here. Are you okay? I'm a lot better. I could go for a case of beer. <laughs> Again, the Sopranos is a band name. is is, is just a no go. Yeah, watching like, the Sopranos lately. Call me late to catch up. I know, but I reckon you should go for the Wire. It's a lot better. I'm, I'm watching the Wire next. <laughs> I, I've got a I've got a thing. I'm doing a thing. Uh, so that was a yes to Dark Long of the Storm by Oren Uh <laughs> I I said that funny. It sounded like two on UR. It's a different. It was two. Uh, other radio stations do not exist. I want to make that very clear. No, the radio stations, no streaming services, none of that exists. Yeah. If I let you know, we're done for. Like, spot of what? Yeah, right? <laughs> I who? <laughs> so let's move on to Get Out of My Mind by Crysix, a band originally known as Crisis with all Ys. Uh, the band was formed in February 2008 in Barcelona, Catalonia. Barcelona. Okay, so Barcelona is a very heavy name. It, it implies a lot of religious. 
<laughs> I, I, I don't know about that. I've never been to Barcelona. I know, but that just reminds me. That's why like, they do the running of the balls. Yeah, I know, but it just like reminds me of like that day. They put of the, their balls on parade. But it, isn't Day of the Dead like that Spanish thing, like closely linked to Christianity and all that sort of shit? Another band name that I had Fools on Parade. That, that might be a goal. That might be the one. So yeah, anyone take that? Oh, fucking Sue. It's on record. That's just because your guitarist likes it. Yeah, my guitarist likes it. What's wrong with it? <laughs> you just call yourselves Day of the Dead. So you can claim the next generation of deadheads. Ah, uh, good thinking. Good thinking. We, we also have the, uh... The, the, the head stoners. Well, like I said, like, you need to have a bunch of deadheads. Because, like... We'll, we'll get something, but we're not getting any more vodka into us. Because that was a... I might. But you. You, you won't. Yeah, I died. I'm getting sloppy drunk. It's gonna be fun. I'll, I'll, uh, just, I'll just up my beer intake. So this song, Get Out of My Mind by Cry6, is from their March release, Against the Odds. And we're going against the odds here on Ride FM by listening to this song. Ooh. You must not like this. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's fine. I don't remember this. Didn't I just hear that band? Every band is the same band. You know that. It's a good title for a band. <laughs> All the same bet. <laughs> yes, classics. From blue to black. Oh, it just played. Well, yeah, on Tuesday. <laughs> on Tuesday it played. Ah. This bit show. They, they, they must have been on the, on the radio show. <laughs> so you have them on. Oh. The drum's got this bit shirt. Uh, I, I, no, when, when I took all my shirts to work, like to say, do you guys want these shirts? Uh, I think that's the thing. I, I think this is Christ X Factor. Oh, they're doing the next Factor thing. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah, too drunk to get it. No, yeah, I took all my, when I took all my band shirts to work, like, I had like my mid shirts and all that. I'm like, they're not going to take these ones. They're like, I'll take all of them. Misfit shirt's fucking joke. Cause like the logo is simple. Yeah, it's just a skull face. Did, did I tell you the story about when uh, before I bought the van we were looking for a van? Dad took me into Newcastle to look for a van. Went into a used car dealership. I, I wear a sleeveless cut off shirt because I'm cool. You, you, and you're uh, like 2013 cool. Guy comes up and says, uh, "Nice tattoo. When you get the finish." We didn't buy a fucking car from him. You can't open with an insult. Car dealership. Oh, I, I don't know, like... Fucking rough of the... Depending on how much of an insult it was, like, did he sort of go like, Ha! Ah, nice tattoo, buddy. He said that he got some bad tattoos when he was younger, too. Oh, okay, that's just... Yeah, that's fucking rude. Like, okay, okay I, I was at the sea breeze, oh, like, ages ago. And one of the guys said, like, no, no, it's not too, it's not in tech stuff. Like, it's funny, it's, it's thick lines. Yeah, that's it's, a nice It's line. funny, I'll cop that. But it's not an insult, it's, it's a jab. Jab's yeah. different. Jab, jabs are different from the haymaker, <laughs> right? Yeah, it, it, it's no finishing uppercut. Yeah, like, this, this, this guy at the car tells you to try for a finishing move. <laughs> he comes up and he just punched you in the gut. Like, was his idea to beat us in submission? Hey, nice tattoo! Oh, look at that one too. Like, it's, it's like it's been getting into all those like, uh, like the 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 players things that. Oh, all yeah, those yeah. sort of nagging shit. Yeah, exactly the nagging. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, so so I made a joke about nagging a while ago in a band practice, and they didn't get it because around here nagging is just like, oh, I I I hate it. I'm fucking nagging. <laughs> oh, yeah, different not... thing. Totally different vernacular. Nagging is like, yeah, I'm devastated here, isn't it? Yeah. Fucking neg. I, I'm nagging. <laughs> or, or like, say, say I don't like this song. I'm nagging on this song. So, me nagging you. <laughs> me and Lars and the naggy naggies. That classic song that we have to sing is on Facebook. Oh, one of the first ones. I can't do it. No, it's okay, I'll put down October. Aren't you guys glad that you're watching behind the scenes? 
glad the professionals really let us rip. Yeah, if any show up, I'll let you know. Well, the professional just went back. Full Metal Jackets? Full Metal Film seems like such a weird... Yeah, that, that was the production company for the music video to Get Out of My Mind by Chrysix. Uh, yeah, Full Metal Films. That, that seems like a weird target audience. It's, it's very particular. I... <laughs> it, I it is, it's like their offshoot production company called like the, the, uh, the, the Boot Camps. <laughs> well, that was a better film. Uh, I, I don't know, like, it, it does, it does get through, like, the horror of war in, in the second part, but it also a little bit glamorizes it. The, the second part was just boring. The, the first part really got through the dehumanization. The, the first part was the, just the fun of it. It was like, oh, boot camp looks fun, I want to be insulted by a drill instructor. But he's dead now, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, Napalm Morning. Name of a band. Morning is in like you morning. Like Oh yeah, so Yeah, it's a play on words. It's a pun, it's an acronym. Napalm in the morning. Pun is I an get acronym. It. Yeah, for, yeah, that's good. Pun is an acronym for play on words. <laughs> that's the worst. It's cr- I, anyway, uh it It's was, not even I don't even know what type of a joke that is. That's just <laughs> It's a thing. <laughs> Which one of those beers are whose? We're not doing the shots anymore because like, I, I'm drunk now. I'm the bigger one. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm nursing again. mine. We are going to get fancy or we're going to light up some cigars. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll do that soon. I'm going to cut them with my knife because I, uh, I'm i trash, but the cigars are cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wonder what yeah, it's like. Yeah, you trade them for a pack of cigarettes. I, I uh, was explaining to a friend of mine who's who, who lives in America, like, online, he's a cool guy, um, a while ago, that, oh no, you can just buy Cuban cigars. Yeah, and they're not that great unless you spend a... They're fine, I mean, slave labour is slave labour, I, I use a phone like everyone else. Yeah, yeah, like, I've got, I wouldn't buy an Apple because it's shit, but... Yeah, I'll... take that, the man. But my batteries explode like everyone else's. Okay, you, you've got something going on your, with your phone recently, don't you? Oh, my phone's been cutting the shit out of me. It's got a cracked screen, the glass has been breaking off, but it works. So, so, so like, is the screen lifted off and it's just cutting you? Oh, no, like, I put my phone in my pocket and I pour a piece of glass, like, from the screen. It's... It's not pretty, I, I got a lot of, like, cuts and... Scars on my fingers, but the phone still works. So, so is this thing cutting you like a Mexican pimp? I don't know, the Mexican pimps only go for your fingers so that you don't show much damage. Alright, so, so it's more like the man from Rio. Yeah, like they, they make sure I know who's in charge, right. but they can still sell me if they want to. So, so it sounds like you're in a bit of an abusive relationship. Abusive what? relationships are the best relationships, you know, it's simple. You got someone on top, someone on bottom. Top dog, bottom dog. Well, what's your relationship with your mother? Let, let's get into it. I've been watching a lot of Sopranos, but only like the, uh, the, the, the psychiatry parts of it. Well, I've got a huge gun and I love a family meal. Uh, yeah, you're right, because I, well, I did have to write a, a report for university. Can you fucking believe this? A report at university, television studies is the unit. A report at university on uh, masculinity and the Sopranos. So I decided, all guns are penises, all food is sex. So, my family meal with my mum just became a lot more weird when I pulled the gun out. <laughs> Would you give this song a yes or a no? I thought it was pretty good. Like, it, it rocked, yeah, it, it drove, it, it didn't, uh, like a lot of metal songs, sort of like the Aura Noir one, sort of uh, hang back in the background, this one punch forward a little bit. I think it deserves the same place, like a coin toss for this one. Like, if it shows up in a playlist, you wouldn't be a fan, but if it gets playtime, you wouldn't be okay, like... We, we can't coin toss on every song. There's only two of us, I'm saying no. <laughs> I'm leaning towards it, yeah. Well, coin toss on it while we go to uh, Horizon Ablaze uh, is the band. The song is Insidious. This band, Horizon Ablaze, was founded in 2009. It's an extreme lit metal band from... No way. Norway? Yes, actually. <laughs> Christian Sand, Norway. 
Uh, the album is called The Weight of a Thousand Suns. Suns with a U. is in, like, the actual sun. And it came out back in February. This is Insidious by Horizon Blaze. Uh, uh, Blaze. Ah! Oh, we stopped here's the song. <laughs> we can't keep going to coin tosses. Well, as I said, that song like, had the same sort of appeal. I was like, come on, let's like... call them what they are. They're all top coin tosses. <laughs> oh, you got a coin. Yeah, I'm moving up in the world. It's a yes. No, so that last one was a coin toss. I was also like, if it came on, I wouldn't be like. Too but, like honestly, like a lot of them are. Because I was gonna say no to it, but then you were saying yes. I'm like, oh, let's at least give it. I love it when like, when I put my knife. Ah, oh, damn it. We'll have to smoke them backwards. The damn Janus! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> That's alright. I do like to imagine like the Australian company. All they do is like they put stickers on it. Because it says it's like, you know, processed in Australia. My shark in my mouth the other day is fucking great. But it's got no tip. I used to use it to open like uh, coffee cans and stuff at work. <laughs> Snapped off. Like, see? I I'll, I'll get you a razor egg if you wanted to. You know that knife I had before? Like the one I was opening my um, power cable with? Yeah. I spent like four hours sharpening No, that you knife. see, it's good because it's threatening, but it does no damage. My yeah. knife. It looks big and like it's kind of have a real live edge on it. I can like cut garlic with it. I seriously, like, with that knife I had at home, I spent, like, four hours sharpening it. It's fucking... It was, like, the other day when, like... We got one of those, like, uh... Like, Sham Wow type infomercial knife sharpeners. It's fucking great. Like, I've had... I've tried them. But I, I had a knife that was, like, crazy... Thin. And so when I sharpened it, it just broke. Like, the knife... Like, I put it through... Cigarette always gets me up. Picks me right up. <laughs> <laughs> was that one camel cigarette? The one the yeah, yeah, it was camel. Yeah, yeah the, the Marlboro man. Oh yeah, Marlboro. A Marlboro cigarette always gets me up. Oh yeah, it's just like Marlboros. Too expensive. You think camels are cheap? I imagine they'd be more expensive than horses actually. For the import. Well, I mean, there's a lot of wild camels in Australia. 
That's because they were imported. No, 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 no <laughs> that's true. Like, Australia, when it comes to wild camel populations, Australia has the highest. Most wild camels in the world. Because they're grabbed across the desert with. Yeah, but... I bet you a lot of other countries would have camels as well. Yeah, I'm not saying that we're the only country with Yeah, camels. but we have, like... like did, did we just get camels and be like, we don't want camels anymore and just release them? Oh, I just imagine trying, like, watching camels breed. That's not a good thing to imagine. Because, like, they're so top-heavy. Oh, I'd like to hunt them. No, no, they are so top-heavy. Aren't we, Casey? Oh, we're totally classy. You can catch us on the YouTube page. Yeah, check out our behind the scenes video where you can see the uh, smoke alarm going off when we lit up these uh, sweet, sweet cigars. <laughs> oh, no, but like, to be honest, we, you and me both weren't paying much attention to that song. That was a background song. Well, these are Cuban cigars. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, it all happened in the background during the Great War? Yeah, yeah. Vietnam was a pretty big thing, I guess. Look, it, it was alright. It was very, um... Behind the scenes. Yeah. No, yeah, because I mean, the music industry very... really took off in the 70s. No, like, it's a very particular style of song. It's that sort of, um... It's a little bit thrashy. It's very deathy. But it hangs back so much that it, it loses a lot of the edge. It didn't have much of an edge. It had it, it. It was a perfect background song. Like that's the thing. Like it, it's like a room full of metalheads. That song's playing in the background. No one's going to come up to you and ask you who it is, and no one's going to come up to you and tell you to skip the song. But that's how you have a room full of metalheads. Just by the way, uh, "Get Out of My Mind" by Crystix got through on the coin toss. It was fair. It was a fair coin toss. <laughs> I didn't bumble it at all because I'm drunk. Nothing like that. No, oh, that, that made it more fair, so you couldn't rig it. That is true. That is very true. Uh, would you give this one a yes or a no? I could actually pick up lyrics in that song, so that gets a bonus from me. It's a bonus. Yeah, like, when I can pick up, like, words through the song, like, through, like, the verses, not just the chorus, I get, I just, like, I get a straight-up bonus. But would you give it a yes? Honestly, no. For the radio, yes. Like, for me, myself. Is this going to another... Okay, we'll do three coin tosses in a row. Yeah, this and coin toss this show. We'll do another shot of cheap vodka. We'll keep drinking... We'll keep smoking the Cuban cigars. And we'll come back after the break and decide whether or not Insidious by Horizon Ablaze gets through. <laughs> and you'll find out if we actually do this shot if you're on behind the scenes. Yeah, I think we will. Oh, you can do one. Yeah, I'll do one. I'm cool. I want to fit in with all the cool kids. I don't... Though there's a lot of rating is, for the next is, band. Is that the end? I'm never sure when, when you finish fucking around or not in this one. <laughs> and when you've come back from the song, I've got no idea. Alright, uh... <laughs> Alright, let's go back into it now. I'm not doing one. No, 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 I know. I, I only grabbed the one glass. Oh, I'm like, I started coughing up and looking at it. Just think of it as water. <laughs> water. Fish fucking it. <laughs> oh, uh, we, we need to do the coin toss. Fucking coin tosses. I, I gotta say, this has been a pretty nothing episode. Anytime you're ready, let's yeah. start three going. No. I said that song really didn't have much that stood out. I, I didn't want to just come up straight saying I didn't like the song because it just. Hello, YouTube again. Welcome back to the Richard Barkman Show. Still with your host, Ron Khan Brown. Still joining the cast. 
by uh, Casey Moyer. Casey Moyer here, second shot free, but Rowan is about to finish his. Casey in point. Look, uh, we're doing a thing. Every band that we say no to, we're doing a shot. Oh, we changed the rules. But yeah, um... we, we, we got to change the rules because otherwise we will not make it through the last two songs on this episode. Um, oh, so they're both yeses then. They have to be. Come on. <laughs> no, so uh, Casey's given up on the shots. I don't blame him. They are rough as guts. Rough as Rukvaja. <laughs> uh, I, we should have been doing. We, we should have been drinking rum, not vodka. Rum is an easier drink. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll do the show. You want to come here down? Okay. Five, four, three, two, neck. It's not that bad. Not that bad. It's not that bad. It could be worse. All right. He's that's, a, that's a no to Insidious. He's in cape. Insidious got a no. Unfortunately, on the coin toss. You, I don't trust you to do the next song. Pass it. Pass it. You can't intro the next song. <laughs> it's too wordy. I saw a lot of words. I was just going to say the name and make fun of it. Alright, the reason I would have preferred Rum is because this next band is Rum Ahoy uh, with their song Forest Party. Rum Ahoy is, and I quote, the sound of battle being fought on a far off ocean. I, I want to give it some grandeur, some... Is this something you wrote for them or they wrote for them? Well, it's not mince words. Let, let, let's not look between the lines. The smell of gunpowder from a pirate stew. The excitement of the quest for treasure in the days of heritage. These are the senses brought to mind and embodied by Ram Ahoy, the greatest pirate metal band in all the Caribbean Sea. <laughs> They're from Somalia. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, so, oh, fuck me, there's more. Why did I do this to myself? You, you picked a pirate metal band to expand on. Formed in the ancient North Carolinian fishing village of Ocracoke, uh, Ram Ahoy first set sail in 2012 when vocalist Captain Yarface was experimenting with, with the musical heritage of his ancestors. He quickly assembled a full lineup for the band drawn from diverse parts of the country with hand-picked members chosen for their seafaring abilities and their thirst for rum and treasure. Joined by Bootsman... <laughs> fucking hell. Bootsman walked the plank on guitar, Cowboy <laughs> Treasure Quest on bass, and Swashbuckling Pete on drums. I can tell this isn't off the Wikipedia. Captain Yarrer Face has just one message for everyone. Welcome to the sea. This song, Forest Party, is from their album Triumph of Piracy, came out in February. <laughs> Congratulations. I tell you, fuckheads, if we didn't need this episode because we've got nothing else for this week, <laughs> I would dump this. It's alright, it, it, it'll pull together. Yeah. You know, well, once you work your magic and make us sound like completely different people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're coming in tomorrow to redo it. <laughs> and the professionals aren't cheap, they drink proper beer. And drink proper. Yeah, you should see the absolute legends that they are. <laughs> I was gonna say Smirnoff. Like Smirnoff, they weren't here. Oh, that's right. They all wear valid fathers. Is he actually pissing on the camera? It's like watching a former gangster on like a documentary. <laughs> they were battle comics and they're ashamed. That's lame. That's not even the biggest thing I've said on this show. <laughs> You're brave having that shot, like the brave hearts. No, you have to make sure there's space in between it. The brave hearts.
You know, the Jolly Roger was invented by one pirate. That was his flag, and then yeah. everyone else stole it? Yeah, exactly, Calico Jack. Skull and cross swords. Then everyone else stole it. Yeah, well, and, and, and it, entered, it was just the most striking. Have you seen Blackbeard's flag? It's a full body skeleton uh, with a spear stabbing a heart in an hourglass. That sounds like a bad flag. Yeah, it's, it's a bad flag. Oh, bad flag! <laughs> Gets a wench and a barrel full of rum. That's a solid deal. I'd go to that party. Well, these are obviously the girlfriends of the band. Did you see that girl? She drank that beer and took the other one to drink a shot. Yeah, well, the one drinking the shot looked like my ex. <laughs> I, I was more. That guy can't be part of the band. He's not wearing a barrel of karma. <laughs> He's from a different band. Don't question it. <laughs> James Hetfield. Oh, James Hetfield just likes to go into others, like anything metal related. He's the most fun out of the band, even though he's a wanker. I couldn't imagine spending an afternoon with it. Like, you had to go into a barbecue at Hetfield's place. Just, I couldn't imagine even having a drink barbecue at Hetfield's. There's a band name. No, like, can you imagine having a drink with a member from Metallica? They all seem so boring. Rob seems alright. Rob would probably be the easiest one to drink with, actually. Like, he doesn't have much to say, like, in the band, but outside of it, he's got a lot of stories. He's played with Ozzy. Yeah, he's he, 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 like, he, 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 he would be Suicidal interested. tendencies. Like, you would be able to have a conversation with anyone else from Metallica, but all of them would be telling you stories that... But that's the only way you can have a conversation with them, if they're telling you band stories. Which Rob, would be interesting, I'll give them that. It would be, but Rob, you could probably bounce off. Yeah, R Rob seems like a bouncer. I can see him as a bouncer as well. Because he's Mexican. And big. He's, that dude is built pretty solid. You see him swinging a bloody bass around like... We have a forest party with Ram Ahoy. That was pretty good. I liked it. Yeah, I... It's not as good as some of the other pirate metal that we've had on the station. Yeah, it wasn't any fucked with an anchor, but... It was no fucked with an anchor. I can't believe going well, well, well back to our last anniversary show... Yeah, no that's one, what fell through. No one liked fucked with an anchor. It's like, I hear it on the station every time I'm just like... Well, he's saying, wait, God, now... No, it's actually fucked with an anchor. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I was there. I remember that. Clever. Ah. No, it... It wasn't as good. I'm leaning towards a no... But actually, yeah, I I'd can't say that, no. You can't say no to that one just because there, there, there's a barrel of rum and a wench in it for you. Like I, I'd take a wench or a barrel of rum, but giving me both, yeah, you got my yes. You got my vote. That's a solid X. What was the name of that last band? X Pirate Facts Number Two O Seven. Uh, pirates actually voted on their captains and whether or not they would uh, take a prize ship. So the pirate would hand off the prize ship to someone else, but they were just by themselves, so... So there you go. Would you give this one a yes or a no? I actually would give that one a yes. I wasn't too... Good, because I don't have to do another shot. Oh, that's right, it's all for a no. Yeah, that, that, that's how it works, and I set myself up for complete disaster. You, you're, you're lucky the coins have been lucky tonight. The second that you were out of the race, it got bad for me. Well, that's because time. you have to have two shots for everyone, because you have a mine. Look, this this is a stalemate, and I'm thinking of committing suicide, so this next song is Stalemate Suicide. Is no one getting sick of my, my terrible segues yet? I, I no, you, any... Your segues, like, sometimes they flow really nicely, and other times you, I, I'm literally pumped to the face. Okay, so we're going back to the, the joke band names. You can send those into our Facebook page, right, FM876. The best joke name wins a t-shirt. Best joke name wins a t-shirt. Okay, yeah, sure, let's do it. Fuck it. Yeah, Who cares? Why not? Yeah, I'm, I'm made of money. <laughs> <laughs>
Fest Joke Name wins a t-shirt. And uh, if you like my segways, let me know. If you don't like my segways, let me know. Any feedback is good feedback. Such as band names. I I'll take them as messages so that no one else can see them. That would be nice. <laughs> so you can choose what ones to publish. Or, or at least if I don't get much response, I can say, Oh, we got ton of <laughs> ton, ton of messages, ton of messages. No, I can say that, but ton of messages. Well, so many of them. The many messages. That that one's just. Yeah, it doesn't work. Okay, uh, I'll uh, I'll tell you my favorite band name that I come up with. Oh, is this uh, Marx and the KG? Yeah, 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 yeah. Carly Marx and the KG bunch. <laughs> it, come on, it's, that's it's so right. over the it's over the top for so many people. If you don't get that joke, let us know it. <laughs> ah, fuck it. Uh, Stalemate Suicide by Violation Wound, a band founded by one-time Death drummer. You know the band Death? I know Dreff. Dreff. <laughs> <laughs> they, they did that song with the mountain that was screaming. Chris Reifert, uh, or Reifert, I don't know, it's written down, I, I don't get the pronunciations. Founder of renowned death metal band Autopsy. That's a big death metal band. I'll Been take around. for it. Been around the block, so this is Violation Wound uh, from their April album with Man in Charge. This is Stalemate Suicide. Wait a second, Lee. I'm fucking drunk as shit. I know, you had two shots. Like, I remember two like. Two shots, four beers. It's been a good hour. <laughs> He could have been nice. Plenty for the day within this life. No, you're not. We were talking about wenches and barrels of rubber in that last song. We were. Oh, it was a good topic of conversation. Mountain of something? Mountain of S. Yeah. 
That was the only death battle of my life. Just because that instrumental in it was fucking awesome. It was like the ultraviolence. You remember the ultraviolence? I love the ultraviolence. I, I didn't like the band and stuff, but I loved the instrumental for See, the I love the band. Well, it's like, I love death metal instrumental. I am... I, I'm too fucking drunk for this shit. That was, uh... Stalemate Suicide by Violation Wound. It was very go-go-go, which is good. Very, uh... It was a little bit more 90s thrash. Uh, a little bit more hardcore punk. In a way. I, I, I'm getting, like, 90s thrash. I'm getting, like... We'll just talk about Ultraviolence. It reminds me a lot of Ultraviolence. Great album. Great album. Great instrumental. Lyrics always ruin it for me, but I'll give that one a yes just because I actually... You liked it. Yeah. Alright, I have not been keeping track. I'm too fucking drunk. This is crazy. No, no. How that... often do I get too fucking drunk? Well, last time you had two beers and you threw up. That's... That, that, that's technically true. I had a big... <laughs> I, 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 I had a big gnocchi. He had, a, he had a big dish of pasta. I went down to the local RSL, West Diggers shout out, woohoo! Yeah, West Diggers, sponsor us. Yeah, I, I need I need a sponsor. And that's why the new name of the band is Carlton Ray. Because it's a three-piece band. Three-piece band, Ray is uh, three in German. Carlton Ray, <laughs> we drink Carlton Ray on the show, not today. We're not not the, today, we're drinking the local brew. Yeah, the local brew, Teddy's. Uh, oh, it's special. <laughs> the Teddy's. The Teddy Bears? No, I... I there, there, there's an avenue there. I don't think you just call yourselves Ted. But... Teddy Avenue. We got to rock down to to Teddy Avenue. avenue. And you have to really bounce that to Ted. To Teddy Avenue. Yeah, yeah, that's, it's a lot of middlemen. Yeah, no, you know. I'm gonna leave that the to The middlemen! Yeah, it's better than the middlemen. Hey, if, if we get a good band name, we can send it into uh, our Facebook page, Ride right, FM 87.6. And then we can win a t shirt. Then we can win a t shirt. We've made that a thing. I don't like that. I, but does the radio station can't afford it? We're on bare fucking boats here. Well, you gave me a t shirt for dressing up as a woman. Yeah, well, we said there was prizes. <laughs> we needed a prize. Okay, so if you dress up as a woman and send in the best band man, then maybe we have a goer. <laughs> no, I, I, honestly, you do that, you might get a management position. <laughs> You'll be top of the line. You'll be over Mr. Richard Barkman here. What, 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 what about management position? Uh, we'll get a good one. We'll get a good one eventually. Hey, management in, uh, positions are industrial. Mm, it does sound industrial. Okay, what about the Dexy Chicks? The Dexie Chicks, I don't know, I, the day they tore old Dixie down, I was a bit devastated. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit much. It's a little bit much. Uptown Punk? I do like it, but I do think people will think that you're doing like a... What, Felonious Punk. <laughs> What's the name of that guy who's the drummer? Um... There's, there's been like yeah, five you, drummers. You know, you know that drummer guy that... The guy, he played drums in, in the thing. You, you know, the drummer boy. Yeah, the, the, the little drummer boy. Yeah, the little drummer boy who did Uptown Funk. <laughs> Would you give this one a yes or a no? I'd pass that one. You'd pass that one. Give it a hard no. Alright. <laughs> no, no, that's, that's okay. We'll go to the coin again. You just want to have a drink. Bullshit. I, I don't want to think. You think I was rostered on for today? No. Watch out, boys. You can't flip a coin. And that one's on the deck. Oh, I, I, I can't call that one. It was heads that fell off. And here he is, taking the last shot of the night. Uh, oh, I, I suppose I should. That was a, a yes for a stalemate suicide. By Violation Wound, we have not given a shit about this show, have we, today? Honestly, I could, like, all the songs, I could give a yes or a no to, but they're all... Take it or leave it. They'd all show up, and I'd be like, you know what? If you're a fan of any of these bands, let us know. 
And you can be in the draw for If you too are scraping the bottom of the barrel, let us know at ridefm.com.au. <laughs> Give us money at patreon.com.au. Uh, I think that's it for the show. I think Any more shout outs to get us money? Check out our YouTube page for. And make sure you don't have ad blocker on. I don't know the name of the YouTube page. But look it up. Riot FM behind the scenes, you'll find something. What, what, what's that studio? Riot FM. Riot FM. On you, YouTube. Would you believe it? There's a Riot FM on YouTube. Yeah, and it's us. <laughs> Even more unbelievable. Uh, check out the behind the scenes where you can see the smoke alarm go off. Uh, this has been a complete shit show. So we're going to leave and keep getting drunk because I'm celebrating. And we're coming up with great band names. Let us know on Facebook. Blah, blah, blah. Patreon. Bye. Au revoir. What a mess. Well, that's what you were aiming for, weren't you? A little bit? That first one really did fuck me up, though. I can still feel it. The little bits. It's the little bits that get you. <laughs> I right, should probably turn off the camera. I think we're done. Goodbye. Wah. No, I'll give him the blood. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. Yeah, but now do the crits. Is that actually it? Yeah, that's the thing. That's that's. I'd, I'd go for the blood just to put a cool hand sign. Yeah, it's way more interesting. And crits are just like, oi! Good night, YouTube.